Hello and welcome to this video on modeling addition problems using the number line. Now the number line is very important and it's a great tool to be able to see numbers and the order in which the numbers are placed. So it helps to see the number sequence and again the number sequence is the order in which the numbers are placed if we were counting them. Okay, So we're going to use the number line today to model addition problems and when we see an addition problem it actually is just giving us directions. So let's take a look at uh, some of the problems and we can see what this is actually uh, telling us and giving us directions to do. Let's go to our first problem. Okay, so before we model this problem, I do want to go over one uh, gesture, a movement that will help you to understand what the plus sign is actually telling you. When you see the plus sign right here, that is telling you to go to the right, okay? Actually, because you're looking at it this way, that's telling you to go to the right, okay? Now, if it's telling you to go to the right, I have a, I have a little song that goes along with this. So it goes like this. To the right, to the right, every time you move, make it right. Okay, one more time. To the right, to the right, use the right sign, and then you write, okay? So it's to the right, to the right, make a sign to the right, okay? And that's with addition. All right, so that's here to help you to let you know that we're moving to the right when we're actually doing an addition problem. All right, so the first number tells us to actually start at, tells us to start at 2. Now 2 is the length from 0 to 2. So this is 2 right here, the distance from 0 to 2. All right, there's no problem here. We're going to start at 0. All right, so we're going from 0 to 2. That's what 2 is. 6 would be the, the length from 0 to 6. 7 would be going from 0 to 7. So we're going to start. Go from 0 to 2. That's what the first number is telling us. So we're going to draw a line, an arrow, from 0 to 2. All right. Now I've done this. Now I am being told to go to the right. Remember when you see a plus sign? To the right, to the right. This is the sign that you write, okay? We're going to go to the right. So let's do that. We go to the right for how many numbers? Well, it's being told to us right here, for five numbers. Now, it does not mean to go right to five on the number line. It means to count five numbers from where you're at right now. I'm at two, so I'm going to start at two, and once I start moving, that's when I'm going to count five numbers, all right? Here I go. One, two, three, four, five. So I draw an arrow from two to seven. That's where I end up. I counted five numbers. And where you end up is your answer. So two plus five equals seven. See how that works? Go from zero to two, that's two. Plus means go to the right again. For five, let's go to the right for five. One, two, three, four, five. Draw an arrow from two to seven. And two plus five is equal to seven. Okay, let's model the next problem. First number, five. So we start from zero to five. Let's go there. Zero to five. Next, I see the symbol, the plus sign. So whenever I see the plus sign, I know this symbol tells me to go to the right, to the right. And that's the sign that tells me to go to the right. All right, I'm going to go to the right for 12 numbers. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm going to draw an arrow from 5 to 17 because I went to the right of 5 for 12 numbers. And where did I end up? At 17. So 5 plus 12 is equal to 17. All right, now that's when the problem is not modeled for you, but you see an actual problem that needs to be solved to give you a final answer. Now, what happens when the problem's already done for you? Well, you just follow the directions, and that tells you what the numbers are. So if we go from 0 to 8, 0 to 8 is what? By definition, it is 8, okay? So from 0 to 8 is 8, so I'm going to write an 8 right here. Now, what direction am I moving? Is the arrow moving? With the, it's a plus sign, so I'm going to the right. 
then I am going to count how many numbers I actually move um, from the 8. So once you start moving, that's when you start counting. All right, you're not going to say 9, 10, you're going to count 1, 2, 3. How many numbers do you move to the right? Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I moved 5 numbers to the right, and therefore, where did I end up? At 13. So 8 plus 5 equals 13. This is 8 plus to the right for 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, equals 13. Last problem, please pause the video and see if you can do this on your own. All right, now that we're back, let's take a look here and see what this problem is. Well, I notice a line, I, I notice an arrow is going from 0 to 6, so that must tell me that the first number is 6. Then I am going to the right again, so I'm, I have a plus sign, and then how, count how many numbers I'm going to the right. 1, 2, 3. Well, that's 3, 6 plus 3, and that equals 9. That's how we solve addition problems on the number line. The next video, part 2, is going to be the video on using the number line for subtraction. And we'll see that that's a little bit different from this, but it follows the same idea. Enjoy the video, and enjoy addition using the number line.